everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to guide you through how to sign up with the smart order uh, point of sale system. So, um, first of all, there are three things that you need to prepare. Um, the first, that you need to make sure that our uh, point of sale system is suitable for your business. So, um, in our um, homepage, um, smartordersystem.com, um, you can find um, there is a menu called uh, Features. So if you go into the features, um, here's all our product um, um, demonstrations for our different features. So if you find our product uh, suitable for your uh, business, um, then you can process to the next uh, step, um, which is prepare your hardware. So um, to prepare the hardware, that, that uh, you can just click on the install menu in here. So the hardware can be either prepared by yourself, or you can buy it from um, you know uh, other company, or you can buy it uh, from us. So um, in in the install page, um, you will find some guidance on the hardware that um, you know what you need for the hardware. Um, for the Android computer, you can use the tablet or maybe um, an uh, all-in-one computer, and also you have to prepare a network printer. Um, cache drawer and also a network router for um, you know um, at least um, all this um, equipment for your um, point of sales to run so and also you can find some um, document guide or video guides in, 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 in this session in here so so if you want to buy the um, hardware from us you can just um, click here to um, um, go to the um, online store that we have so here's the online store and you can select um, you know uh, any hardware that you want um, and we will ship it to you uh, directly so once you have prepared and also understand how the hardware is set up um, next you can click on the pricing menu in here we have list all the product um, um, feed that um, you, you are required to pay um, for using the system. So at least you will need to have the smart POS um, in here. So the cost will be 25 US dollar per month. And um, and we provide our uh, 15 days free trial for any user that um, sign, sign up with us. So um, so if you have confirmed our system are uh, suitable for your business and also um, you understand the hardware uh, how you know how you purchased the hardware or maybe connect them uh, you can click on the sign up now button in here so um, now I can just click on the sign up now button uh, sign up now you will be redirect to the um, ePortal registration um, page in here so in here you will find the um, um, introduction page so um, it will ask you to understand the hardware guides and also um, the system guide which um, includes the features that you just um, saw uh, earlier so if you understand both of them you can click next so here you can click uh, create your account uh, for example mark uh, and then I'm going to use test account um, 001 and then password um, enter your email address um, So once you have um, uh, fill in the information that you need to create a sign up an account, just, uh, click next. And then in here, uh, you can select the plan that you are going to subscribe. So um, either monthly or yearly. So um, I'm going to select one um, product first and then click next. So in here, you can see that um, the final invoice. So the invoice in here will be billed as um, zero, uh, which um, because we provide 15 days of um, trial period. So if you doesn't like it, if you don't like it, uh, you can cancel the subscription before um, um, we charge you. So um, therefore, uh, in here you can see there's no um, um, no payment is need. So and then I click checkout. So you will be redirect to the um, PayPal page. So in here you can see that um, the subscription plan will be free for the first 15 days. 
and after that we will charge you to uh, 220 uh, 280 uh, for uh, each year so uh, if you agree with that you can sign up with your PayPal or if you do not have you can create a PayPal account um, so right now um, I'm just going to process to the uh, payment so um, in here I will skip um, the payment um, payment uh, information in here so uh, bear with me click on uh, the payment um, sign up with the uh, PayPal account and now we will our system will send you a activation email so which in here you just click on the link we sent you so and your account will be successfully activated after you have um, uh, link up with uh, the PayPal account. So now we are just going to log in um, to your account. So um, test account 001 and enter my password here. So in here, the first time you log in, um, we will have the introduction page for you um, to guide you through how to set up um, the smart order system. Um, so in here, um, you know, thank you for choosing the smart order, and then you click next, and then select your language, um, English. So in here, um, our system will ask you to fill in some information, which will be used um, in your uh, point of sale system. If you doesn't, if you don't understand it, you can click on the guide, and uh, we will provide a email, uh, provide a, a guide uh, for you. So in here. Um, you have to enter your restaurant name um, and address. So um, in the guide, we, uh, we will show you that the restaurant name will be used in the uh, final invoice for your customer and the address will be printed in these sections here. So now I'm going to um, type in my restaurant name, mark restaurant, address uh, 123, 123, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in here I um, submit my um, information and then for example um, US dollar I have 10% service charge and then 10% tax so if you are in the Australia Australia you will have to enter the Australian business number but if you are not just leave it blank so uh, and the number of printer on um, the printer will be used um, normally a restaurant will have two to three printer uh, depending on their um, setup. So um, in here I'm going to um, set up two printer. So one printer will be the um, build printer and the other one will be the kitchen one. So and then I set up the IP. Uh, if you don't understand how to get the IP um, information you can go to the support um, page um, from our smart order system um, which is here, um, download and support and you will find the um, user guide in here on how to set up um, uh, the printer and also the system uh, hardware, hard, system hardware. So and then I click next. So um, customize area next, and then I have to enter the, um, the table number, table name. So for example, I have um, three table in my restaurant. So normally you will have more table, but um, I'm just going to um, do an example for you. So click next. Uh, the payment method in uh, other than cash. So we have a uh, different card and then click next on uh, the staff member so if you have more staff member you just click um, add in here so you can add uh, for example staff 2 and then uh, select um, the assess level that your staff you know are allowed to have and then click next so now you have set up um, the basic information for your point of sale system so you want to set up your menu now so if you are ready for that you can click next uh, if you haven't get your menu ready you can click later and then uh, once you have your menu you can come back log in and then um, start again with the uh, setup menu so in here you uh, have to set up your menu so uh, let's cl click on the guide here so you will see that um, the category the um, the category setting in here is actually means that the system um, menu category so you can see um, we have different category pork beef and chicken so in here I'm just going to um, add some um, category uh, for example chicken and, and then click next 
So, um, in in a normal case, uh, some of your dishes will need modifier. So, um, in here, it will ask you to set up the um, modifier. So, for example, salad dressing uh, would be one of the many modifier that you might need, and also maybe drinks with the um, and then click next. So and then uh, let's say um, we want to have uh, different salad dressing in here. So for example, we have the uh, Caesar dressing, and then the print name that will be shown in your um, in your orders. So in here, uh, you can see that um, the chicken salad will have different um, salad dressing, which count as the modifier. So back to the setup here, start the dressing. Um, if you have extra charge on that modifier, you can um, you, you can enter um, the, the price for that modifier. But if not, you can just leave it as zero. And also the uh, printer that the modifier will be printed at. So if that is the same with the um, item, the dishes, so it will print together in one order. So and then click next in here. Um, configure your menu dishes. So, uh, for example, I want to have a chicken salad in, in my restaurant. Um, so, we have a chicken salad, and, and then category is in chicken, and then let's say um, that's um, $10, and then in the kitchen printer, and then we have the modifier of such dressing. So uh, if you are using the um, self-ordering menu, uh, which we call it smart menu, you can um, upload any photo um, in here. So for example, I'm going to upload a salad um, picture in here. So our, so my, my customer in my restaurant can use the self-ordering menu to um, you know, view the, the salad picture. And it might actually um, let them to to order more um, due to the picture. So and then click next. So congratulations, your system is ready to use. So once you have set up your menu, your system is already um, set up. So when you have complete, you will be redirected to the ePortal um, homepage here. So in here, you can find uh, different configurations, menu, and also report, and um, also membership system in here. So uh, uh, you can, um, change your configuration and menu anytime once you have logged in um, our ePortal system. So um, and yeah, so um, now once you have complete your um, account setup, you can go to the um, your 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 Android um, tablet or computer to use the uh, smart order system. Going to use a um, Android simulator so to simulate the um, setup that you have in your restaurant. So once you have your hardware connect together, so you can um, click on the browser and then go to our uh, homepage, uh, click on download and support and find the smart POS. So if you need our product, you can um, sign it up um, later in our ePortal system in here. So but at, um, at the moment, um, just download the smart POS app, install it, so now I have already installed this system. So um, here I'm going to use the account I just signed up um, earlier, 001, and then 1234, and then click login. So um, in here I'm going to use an Android um, simulator to um, demonstrate um, how, to, how to set up how to use the um, smart POS. Once you have your hardware connected correctly, so you can go to our um, homepage in here and then click on the download and support and then go to the download section, download smart POS. So if you need other products, you can sign up um, in the ePortal system in here. So we have um, the smart POS plus, which is the additional terminal for the uh, smart POS and also the mobile device and also self-ordering menu. So in this example, I'm going to just focus on the smart POS here. So download and install, or maybe go to the Play Store, download and then install it. So, and then um, open the smart POS app. 
So in here, um, I'm going to use the demo account uh, as an example because uh, um, demo account will provide more manual information. So I'm just going to click demo. And if you do not have, if you have not yet signed up with us, um, you can also use the demo account for free, and then just try out this uh, different function features. So now um, we are synchronizing the data from our ePortal system. So um, once you have your configuration and also manual setup correctly, you will find um, the, the smart QoS with this setup. So you can open the table and then help your customer to order food and um, modifier, um, all different sort of things here. So, and thanks for watching this video. If you uh, have any question about um, you know, uh, the, our product, um, feel free to let us know. And um, thanks for watching.